Hey Divas and Booze, this is Shay, your love diva, coming to you live with a video about Keisha Knight Pulliam marrying Ed, what is it, Hartwell, or whatever the heck his name is. I'ma just call him the dog, because he is a dog. Um, and I know I'm gonna get people that's gonna complain about that, but whatever, it's my video, I'm gonna say what I wanna say, because it is a very unfortunate situation when you have a young lady um, who ends up who wants love so bad that she quickly marries somebody in four months while married to this person she gets pregnant only for that person to decide up oh, this is not the situation I want it's time to move on it's not working and they go on and move on about their business to me there's absolutely no excuse whatsoever now we can talk about the gossip we can say oh he cheated on her and maybe she cheated on him I don't believe that's the case it doesn't look like it but whatever it doesn't matter at the end of the day it's unfortunate that in our society people take marriage so lightly that they don't take it seriously so for a man to up and leave his wife who is pregnant with his child because they're going through some issues within the first year of marriage is un fathomable it's unexcusable there's no excuse for that every marriage has its own issues every marriage or relationship has its own problems but you don't just cut bait and leave you just don't do that you work it out you fight for it you go to counseling you do whatever you need to do you at least stick around for the birth of your child and see if maybe it is the pregnancy hormones or this huge life change that's going on in your life to see if maybe somehow some way you guys can heal whatever is broken but it looks like that Keisha fell into the mistake that many, many of us women fall into, and that is the, the trap of wanting love so bad that we will just blindly jump into a situation without fully being aware of the decisions and choices that we are making. And trust me, I understand exactly how and why she made that mistake. But ladies who have not made that mistake, let me help you out a bit and please warn you that I understand your biological clock might be ticking. I understand that you are tired of being alone. You're tired of eating alone. You're tired of sleeping alone. You're tired of going to weddings alone. You're tired of going to parties alone. You're tired of spending Christmas and the holidays and Valentine's Day alone. I get it. I understand. But please slow down and trust that God has somebody in store for you and just because you meet the man that's saying all the right words and looks perfect on paper does not mean this is the man that has been divinely sent for you sit watch give it time at least date for a year ask him questions see when he's mad you got to see when a man is mad before you even say I will before you even say yes because you don't know if this man has a temper problem you don't know if this man has a lying problem a cheating problem a non-committal problem you don't know whatever his issues are and you jump blindly into the situation and then you end up unfortunately hanging by the wind because now this young lady is left with a child and I'm not saying that she's perfect I'm just saying that I just cannot even fathom a man walking away from a woman while she's pregnant with his child and there's they have committed and promised to God um, to have and to hold to death do they part I, I don't understand how you do that but anyway he did that's his choice and now it's time for Keisha to move on this beautiful life is here it's a blessing and that's what it is and we ladies people make mistakes all the time sometimes you go on blind faith and you wish for the best and you end up with the worst but one of the ways that you can prevent something like this from happening is give it time pray about it make sure that you feel and know that God says that this is the one that God has sent for you ask that question because if you ask and you pray and you really want to know and you say God I know that it will hurt if this person isn't the one and if you tell me it's not the one and even if it's tears in your eyes as you're asking God to have God's will and remove this person if they are not the one I highly suggest that you make that prayer and you pray that prayer and that you be willing to accept whatever the answer is if he's not the one then trust me you're gonna want God to remove them from your life you're gonna want that you're gonna want 
to avoid all of the pitfalls and the pain and the drama that you're going to experience if you move forward with marrying this person. If they are the one, God will make that clear to you. But at the end of the day, only move forward if, in fact, God has told you that they are the right person for you. And a lot of times, in order for you to really get that clear answer, you got to give it time. Do we know stories of people who've gotten married in a month and it lasted? Yes. Do we know stories where people were able to make a situation like that work? Yes, we do. However, that is the exception. That is not the norm. Stop making decisions based on exceptions instead of making decisions wisely based on what is going to be right for you. Anyway, this is Shay, your love diva, and I hope this helps. And if you like this video, please check like and pass to all your family and friends and divas and booze. Leave your comments below. Bye, diva.